In this video I'll explain how to draw a histogram with percentages using the basic installation of the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and this example is based on the data that we can create with the lines 2 to 3 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of our studio that a new vector object is appearing which is called x and we can have a look at the first six values of this vector object by running line 4 of the code and then you can see at the bottom that we have created a vector object containing numerical values. Now if we want to draw these data in a histogram using the basic installation of the R programming language. Then we can apply the hist function as you can see in line 6 of the code. So if you run this line of code you can see at the bottom right of our studio that a new histogram has been created. However you can also see that the bars of this histogram are shown by their frequencies as you can see based on the y-axis. So let's assume that we want to show these bars of the histogram based on percentages. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 8 to 11. So in line 8 of the code I'm first creating a data object which is containing information about our histogram. So if you run this line of code you can see at the top right of our studio that a new data object is appearing which is called histinfo. And if we want to extract the percentages of our bars, we have to run lines 9 and 10 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, our hist info object is updated. And then in line 11 of the code, we are using this info object to plot our data once again. And within the plot function, we are also specifying the freak argument to be equal to false. So if you run line 11 of the code, our plot is updated and as you can see this time the histogram is shown with percentages on the y-axis instead of frequencies. So in this tutorial I have explained how to draw a histogram with base R showing percentages on the y-axis. However, in case you want to learn more on this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail and I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video. Furthermore, if you have liked the video, I would be very happy if you leave me some positive feedback in the comments and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications in future when I'm releasing new videos to the channel. That's it for this video. Thanks a lot. See you next time.